All right, hey everyone, this is Nate and this is the Nader Tater channel. All right, I'm going to cover the testing and performance of this OmniRoam antenna. Now this is a newer product from Waveform. They do lots of different uh, antenna products and other products for uh, 5G, 4G, uh, cellular and other stuff here. This one is specifically designed more for the mobile on the road, so either over the road trucker, RV, or vehicle that you need to um, you know, have good cellular signal for. So this would attach to whatever you're using for your cellular um, internet, your modem or whatnot. In this case, I'm going to use this Chester Cheetah uh, device. This is a uh, Wi-Fi and cellular uh, router, so it has a SIM card slot, actually two of them. And I'll be using T-Mobile as the carrier for this testing, but you know, this antenna works with any of the, the US carriers. All right, and if you're familiar with waveform stuff, they have a lot of other products. This one is the Quad Mini. They also have a Quad Pro, which is even bigger. And these are really focused on the home market and being stationary, uh, especially the Quad Pro, it's directional antenna, so it has to be aimed. But the larger antenna rate is going to help further with getting that drastic step change. This is really, uh, I'm not expecting to, to show that level of change, but it's gonna focus on a couple things. One is mobile performance. So when you're driving, so not stopped, this is gonna help keep your router connected to the signal and not have those dropouts that you get when you're kind of dropping in and out of good um, signal while you're driving. This will help keep it connected. And the other thing that this can do, especially this one here that has the Wi-Fi antennas this is going to allow you to pick up wi-fi at your campground if you know let's say they have a wi-fi signal you can then connect to that and then if you have a uh, like a peplink router or some of the other routers that allow you to do wi-fi as WAN, this will help you pick up that signal and then you can beam it down into your um your rv or your camper or whatever your truck um, so that you get that signal so that's really the key focus of this omni roam antenna so what this does is this one is actually a nine in one antenna. So it means it has four, meaning a four by four MIMO set up for cellular. It also has four by four antenna for Wi-Fi. And then this one additionally has a GPS antenna built in as well. Now you don't have to use all those if you don't need them. And for this Chester Cheetah, it actually has everything other than the GPS output there on this external port. So I'm gonna use the four x four cellular, which is these these back four larger ones, and I'm going to attach the Wi-Fi ones. I'm gonna see what kind of signal change I get by using this unit in my little uh, my little van is my in my demo. Now, if you don't need this many connections, they have, a, I forget how many, like I think 10 different variants where you can go all the way down to like a two by two, uh, cellular or you can you know a two by two uh, Wi-Fi and you can uh, pick and choose based on what your needs are but this is the kind of uh, loaded unit here so it comes with six foot long cables but you can get extensions there of three and six foot to uh, make it longer obviously you want it to be as um, short of a cable length as possible that's going to help your signal so for my testing I'm going to go outside and I'm going to run this speed test with and without and also look at my Wi-Fi coverage um, with using these stock antennas versus having this mounted outside the vehicle to see how it changes. If you want to go into the full details of this unit, I have a separate video where I walk through all the specs of it, but roughly it's about a 7 dBi gain uh, capable peak for cellular and about 6 dBi for the Wi-Fi. But now before I get too far, do consider hitting that like thumbs up button just below the video here in YouTube and consider subscribing to my channel if you want to see more uh, content like this and then also i'm very responsive to comments so if you have a comment or a question please put it down below and i will get to it so thank you all right so before we head out i'll show you the mounting now i'm not going to uh, fully install this i'm going to do a testing but what this unit comes with is a couple different mount options this one is the kind of permanent uh, spigot mount where you drill a like one inch hole uh, through the rooftop and then this unit uh, gets screwed uh, through four holes to it. It has 3M adhesive to seal it, but then they also have a couple other uh, mount options in here as well. Um, they of course include the uh, the hardware, including even the Allen key that is um, the bolts that go from the, the fixed mount to the little antenna. This one here is another mount that is uh, optional. This is a magnetic mount, and this one would then route the cables through here 
and this would give you a kind of more temporary mount that if you wanted to take this and slap it on top of a, uh, a metal roof, you could do that. But then the other uh, mount that you can also use here is this adhesive one. So a very similar design where it has a routing uh, slot for the cables to go outside. So you don't have to drill a hole uh, through the roof at all. Um, but then this one is a adhesive mount that you would stick on there and then route these cables out through here through either um, another hole that you have or a windows gap or you know door gap that kind of stuff so let's go uh, test it out all right so here i am outside now this is in a like a three acre field it's actually a uh not quite a dirt track it's a grass track but i use it for uh for recreation and i have my little uh japanese van obviously not exactly an rv but this should still uh demo what we're going to do here now um this what i'm going to do is i have my Chester Cheetah inside there in the uh, the passenger seat and uh, it's powered up and connected so I will test my cellular speed right up close to it and then I'm going to walk around this entire um, field uh, to get a couple points of Wi-Fi connection um, data and speed and we'll see also how well it helps the, um, the Wi-Fi not just the cellular so let me go ahead and hop on my tablet We'll do a speed test here in the van with um, out the Omni Roam, and then we'll add the Omni Roam and see the difference. All right, so here's my Chester Cheetah. It is all connected and powered up. I have my tablet now connected via Wi-Fi directly to it. And then if we look here on the web page for the Chester Cheetah, I can see that I'm connected to um, 5G band 41, um, 5G band 25, another 5G band 25, and another band 41. So I'm connected to four 5G um, signals there. That's the nice thing about this X75 modem in there. And if I look at my main connection there, it looks like a minus 91 uh, dB on that N41 as my primary. You can see that minus 10 dBm for my RSRQ and then a 20 dB for signal to noise. So that is a good reference point that we have here and we can go do a speed test. All right, you can see there that we are connected to T-Mobile. Like I said, that's the T-Mobile SIM. And we're going to that T-Mobile Detroit uh, server. And so now it is running a uh, speed test here. So a couple things to look at. One obviously is the speed and the consistency. How flat is it? The other thing is at the top there, the ping. So the 23 is a unloaded ping. The 356 is a loaded download ping. And then that last number that we'll see here is a loaded upload ping. So that um, loaded ping is not doing very well, and you can see my upload speeds are not doing very well here either. So uh, let's see if this um, antenna can help with that. All right, and just for uh, consistency, we will go ahead and test again. I have to laugh a little bit at that Verizon 5G ad because I'm using T-Mobile right now, but uh, let's just see how this speed, um, uh, how consistent it is here. Okay, so we can see the download um, got a little bit faster there on the second run, but our upload is still really struggling. So let me uh, test the Wi-Fi around the, uh, the this field and see how good the Wi-Fi is uh, from this unit. All right, so to test the Wi-Fi, I'm gonna use this NetSpot app that I actually uh, purchased, and this allows me to make heat maps. So I've done this before. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here and I'm going to add an existing photo. All right, so I'm gonna add a overall picture that I have now. All right, so I know that roughly from this tree line to this tree line is about 500 feet. It's not gonna be probably exact, but that's gonna give me something. Then I'm gonna just do a very um, rough guide there for that signal. Now what I have to do is I have to walk around and actually scan um, this day. So I'm going to put where I'm at right now, which is right about, let's see, this is the hill. So I'm going to right about here right now, and we will scan this. So what it's doing is it's um, measuring my Wi-Fi signal as well as doing a quick speed test um, for my internet, which obviously should be very similar to what I just got uh, doing a um, speed test on that setup. All right, so now I can walk around and get more data points.
All right, so now I have the OmniRoam set up for both cellular and Wi-Fi, and that is right on top of the roof of the little van. If I go in here and look, I am still on the same 5G SA stuff. Um, looks my RSRP is now about minus 91. RSIQ is still the minus 10, and my signal to noise is about 22 uh, dBm there. So not a huge change in that uh, specific. Uh, primary N41. All right, and so if we look at my um, all of my carrier aggregation, I had to do this little command to get it, but we can see band 41, band 25 twice, and band 41 again. So same bands as I had before. All right, so if we look at my speed test result there, you know, before it was between 100 and 120 for download and about two, two and a half uh, for upload. Now we are still the same download. It did not really improve that at all, but it did drastically improve the upload you know, two to three times faster for upload. I have seen that pretty consistent because when you have a weak signal um, like I do here, then um, you really have trouble getting data back to the tower. So this uh, OmniRoam does appear to help that, but it does not make a drastic difference in this case, at least for the download capability. And of course, this is probably the um, smallest delta you can get because I'm just in this little van and it doesn't have um, a lot of like the RV type uh, metal or aluminum siding that uh, might um, might block your signal further. But it does show an improvement in upload. I'm really curious to see if it helps the Wi-Fi signal around the property. Now, if we do another uh, test just to see how consistent we are here. All right, there we go. So that basically validates the uh, previous test. It's about the same download, but two or two, three times faster for upload. So let's do the Wi-Fi test. All right, so that was uh, some good testing. Now, I have tested other mobile antennas out there as well, and I always put the disclaimer that that little micro vein is not exactly the perfect um, signal blocker, but it does give you an idea here of how this antenna does change it. And like I've seen before uh, in that exact same area, my download is actually typically about the same time as a little bit faster um, than uh, without the antenna. And this was kind of true for the OmniRoam. It was right dead center in the uh, kind of the average ballpark that I was getting without it. So I did not really see an improvement in the download, but the upload did get uh, significantly better. And that was something that was very, it's very poor signal there. That's why I like to test it there. So I only get a couple megabits per second for upload without the antenna. And then when the antenna is getting about six or so, so uh, much more usable. Um, and of course this varies with wherever you're at um, and what type of signal that you're getting there. So the other thing that was the first time I tested was the Wi-Fi. And it was kind of interesting with the Wi-Fi. I was testing um, speed and stuff on my 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. But I was also measuring the 2.4 gigahertz output. And what I saw, is perhaps not surprising, is when I'm inside the van sitting right beside the, the Chester with its Wi-Fi antennas, I was getting a stronger signal sitting there versus once I hooked up the OmniRoam and had it outside and I was inside. Um, so right at the van and even right around the van, um, I actually saw a much stronger 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi signal directly from the um, Chester Cheetah router. Once I installed the antenna, I actually got a little bit worse. It's still, I think it's still full bars, but it went from like a minus 20 dB to minus 40 dB, which is still considered a good signal. But what was interesting was that the OmniRoam, it was more consistent across that field. So the Chester Cheetah um, fell off uh, once I started getting to the extremities. To the point where I could um, not sometimes run a speed test at the end point. So I was getting very poor signal right at the ends where you can see the red. And I think the data shows something like a, a minus 80 or um, minus 80 on the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. And I was connected to the 5 gigahertz and showing like minus 90, minus 96 dB of signal. So basically uh, ran out of signal and could not fully fill the entire field up. Once I put the OmniRoam on, I was able to get several dB better out of those extremities so you know one data point is going from an 80 db to a um, 75 db and that 5 db is actually a significant uh, number because it's a log scale so that's you know uh, over double it, it's almost um you know three or four times uh, more signal power that it's getting at those endpoints so it does work as a wi-fi uh, extending for an outdoor space as well and again, I basically could cover almost three acres of a open field with the unit. So 
hopefully that covers most of your needs if you're out camping or whatnot. Now, the uh, the speed does slow down when you go further away, but even when I was in kind of the minus uh, 75, minus 70 um, dB areas, I was getting about 40, I think, megabits per second download with the Omni Roam on there, so still very usable uh, speed that uh, it does actually cover for you. So, you know, the end result is I've done some testing for home internet, and I've used some of Waveform's directional antennas, and I really love those because you get such a drastic speed change often with those because they're uh, tuned in, directional, they're much bigger, um, they're not, um, you know, portable unit. This doesn't give you that type of step change. This is really giving you more flexibility. It's omnidirectional, it's low profile, fits on the roof, outdoor rated. So that's really the um, class. You would not want this, for example, on your house and use it as a better antenna because you'd be much better off getting a panel antenna that has directionality to it. Uh, that's gonna give you better performance. But if you need something that's mobile and portable, and that allows you to place your 5G modem somewhere anywhere you want inside of your RV or truck or camper, then this is a device that can help you with that and get you that um, best placement of having the antenna outside. So hopefully this was helpful. Again, as I said before, put a comment down below if you have a question or comment, and I'll um, try to always answer those. And then as always, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.